Delving, I guess. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. Your your teammate looting. I don't know. The last watch. What do? Uh, first I would try and um see if I can make a little owl. A little owl. Yeah. Just reshape. How, 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 which gem are you using for this? Like um, the value of the gem, not necessarily like the, the. I know the time. Oh, there's a list. The value. There's a list somewhere. Hold on. Because I always assume that the bit more valuable ones are, are bigger. Because that logically <laughs> bigger means more pricey, especially when it comes to better nuts. quality. It would be one I'm, of the cheapest ones. Okay. I don't know which one is cheap. You guys keep tabs on your own gems. Yeah, yeah uh, fuck, I have a list somewhere. I'll... Sort your expensive rocks. Uh, regardless, make me an arcana. And because it's a, uh, easy to... You, roll with advantage, essentially. Because it's more malleable. It's more... It's smaller, so it's easier to work with. Tiny, you uh, uh, cheapest sapphire I can find. Gotcha. I'll... By the side of, like, I don't know. Your thumb. Something yeah, no, like Twinland definitely does it. Size with thumb. Couple inches. Couple and a half, maybe. Alright. It's I'll not. See I will say it's not the quietest endeavor, but it's not. It, um, it's the, uh, it does. It's not, not not like nails on a chalkboard. That's definitely not it. It does sound like stone grinding at stone, but again, it's not super loud. You're wise enough to do it at <laughs> the corner furthest away from the tents. Yeah. Yeah, you craft that item which you've described to me. And then I would try to see if I can influence it again and leave a vacuum with a little um, hole where the where the beak, the eyes, and the talons would be. Beak, eyes, talons. Well, the twenty-one then, certainly. And then I would try to do replace those parts with a tiny with um, a ruby. So I would take one of the rubies, see if I could partition it into two, and then see if I could uh, affix those parts that I removed. Roar can again, but this time not with advantage, just straight. It's a bit of a bit more complex task. You do end up basically ultimately devaluing one of the halves that you create out of the partition as like sort of a insurance policy for the one piece you have left to not shatter as you're influencing of magic. But you still manage to do that which you seek, albeit at the, with no recovery value for like half of that value. Gotcha. And that was with the ruby. That was with the ruby. So the, the remaining half is devalued to half. No, the remaining half is gone. It's, it's, it shatters. Okay. So it turns to dust. Well, I guess Ruby mm. does might be valuable in itself, but... Yeah, I'll, I'll um, put that somewhere. A lot of red dust. Ruby dust. And then... The red the... crystal dust, got the ruby dust. Red dust. Yeah. Uh, we can look at the the, the monetary value of that later. I'm not sure it's going to become relevant, because I have a plan for that little owl. Fair enough. And after that, I would... Um, Put that all away, and then I would take out Saurus's um, emblem. Uh, and since I'm sitting a bit far away, I'll uh, just say it. I'll be, be more at ease. Ah, uh, Saurus. I didn't understand back then, but. I think I do now. I've been carrying poison in my heart, and you were trying to show me the cure. I suppose it's poetic irony that it took 
a little saint of vengeance to make me see that you were right all along. In some ways, you are my equal, in others, my better. But you will always be my friend. Wherever you are, if you can hear me, please help me reach out to her. And then I'll put the emblem on the ground in front of me. Uh, heartbroken, Alicia, I am not a praying man. So I don't know if you recognize my voice. But when you appear before us and you reunited the spirit within the verd brain and her lover, I too was moved in ways I did not have the tools to understand. I need your strength. I need your guidance, your aid. Help me find the courage to embrace those I've come to love. They will be my strength. From Marshall, I've learned purity of purpose. From Owen, I have learned joy. From Seema, I have learned to trust. And Chedimir has taught me gratitude. Nevi, she's compassion. Contagiously so. Always compassionate. And Danue, <laughs> all of it combined, love. Stand by me now as I confront vengeance one last time. I want to forgive those who have, who have taught me to hate. You're only your religion. <laughs> Growing very well. Yeah, boy. It's not a compensate for the shit rolls for the past like three sessions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you got it when it counts, Chief. I guess. I suppose the definition of when it counts changes from person to person. You don't see her. But you do hear her. Just over your shoulder, as if she's right there. You feel weight lean against you on your back. Her leaning upon you. Back to back, both of you. I must ask. Do you think you're ready for such? After what I saw in the abyss, yes. You feel some motion behind you, her nodding. It is an easy task to hate, mortal child. To forgive. Silence. You feel her t turn to look at you. You feel it. You don't see it. She's not in your uh, periphery. Mm. You may perish. Then so be it. If you perish, one of those you leave behind, those whose cries I will surely hear. For as long as I breathe, Isn't pain a testament to how much love is truly worth? At least that's what I've come to understand. <laughs> There's more than pain with love. And I hope 
You don't squander the good it gives by constantly attempting to stash away these bad moments to cash them in later for good ones. You have to partake in both in equal measures. Regardless. I cannot help you. It is your heart, not my intervention, that will forgive. And you are only mortal. But I pray. I pray that you remain committed to it. Thank you. I don't know what else to say, really. I... I will show you what words cannot say. You have nothing to prove to me, mortal child. No, but to myself. Only time shall tell. And you feel her presence leave. At that, I would like to wait until a reasonable time uh, and then rouse the others and then have them gather in sort of a semicircle. <laughs> you wake them up in the middle of the... Oh, it's, it's la your last one. He last said one. he'd yeah. wait. Yeah, well, wait doesn't mean one minute, ten minutes, three Fair hours, enough. 24. Yeah, shut up. An eternity. No. You could wait an eternity. <laughs> like a certain goddess. Yeah. Anyways, though. First race of sunlight. There you go. There you go. Dawn arrives. <laughs> and you awake, everyone. And you assemble them in that half circle, semicircle, whatever you want to use for it. It's a partial circle. A gathering. A gathering. A rounding. A rounding. That's actually really good. A rounding. <laughs> Uh, thank you for... Uh, Shedemir, may I have the box? She complies and gives him the box. The box. What's in the box? I am about to do something that may be profoundly stupid. And if shit hits the fan... I would ask for your help. I mean, That's what, you don't have to ask, for. we're here for that. <laughs> Owen, Danaway, please know that I have thought long and hard about what I'm about to do. And I don't do it lightly. I am committed to this all the way, no matter where it leads. I turn around to uh, face away from the circle and then I'll shout, Remus, get your ass over here. I have shit I want to tell you. Make me a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> Shadow has your shield and spear out. <laughs> ah, then you only take half damage from this. I will use my charge. I don't really have a, don't really have a value for this, but this thing's appropriate. <laughs> 50 D10. This, that's not good. Not 50, but 10. <laughs> so I think I have half damage from this. So that's, what is that, 40, 41? Got you. 
Suddenly, he's not there. Suddenly, he's here. Who knows? But you do get punted into the ground. Aldrich. You feel like he was aiming to push all of you to the ground, but instead he only pushes your head and thus knocks you down from that aspect, as opposed to literally crushing all of your form with his weight. So I suppose one might say he missed. Instead of crushing over his feet, he has to, he's forced to grab you with a hand and bring you down. Do not dare... ...to order me. Understood. He drags you by the car back onto your feet. <laughs> Or should just sit yeah. eating his broccoli. <laughs> you told me to reconsider my pack. I have. You keep a bird eyebrow at this. <laughs> Much happened in Duvros. First, we recovered this. I hold up the box. I don't open it yet. Then we jumped into the abyss below. Perhaps it is poetic irony that your words, Remus, rung like a bell for the dead in my ears. But I don't think you care much for poetry that isn't inked in blood anyway. I saw... Expression right now. I saw death down there, like I haven't before. You say we are weak. You say they are weak. But the truth is, I no, am weak. weak. Your insistence, Remus, has opened my eyes to the truth. Your guidance has led me to this truth. Vengeance is for solitary hunters. I open the box and I hand it over. He takes it, and then... He's staring you dead in the eyes all the time. He doesn't examine the box until he's fully within his grasp, and then he looks down. He closes the box. That is no longer me. Thanks to you, I have come to see that... I have come to see my hatred for the poison it is, and it makes me weak. But I have found a cure. It is in my nature to break shackles. And this is when I cast Sending to Iskari. Oh, I have a fun message to send back to you. What the it takes a little bit. Happen? Uh, where does it? Let's see. It takes a little bit, but not terribly long. It's not. You've had time to form your words, and while Iskara is a pretty bright and witty and quick-minded sort, uh, it's a very sudden message for the early morning. Yeah, I would read the message aloud when I'm sending it as well, so that no one in Nano can hear. Feel free to put it in the general chat or read it yourself. It's up to you. Ah, oh, where did I save it? I I should have pinned it in retrospect. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting uh, here. intense. It's scary. No one has caused me more pain. You infected my heart with hatred. You buried me alive. But I forgive you. I'm moving on. It's up to you whether or not you want to tell the message back or you might keep that hidden. Uh, it's up to you. No, I'll, I'll leave it for now. Okay. Uh, and then to Remus, you, I say. It's just, you can tell, like, the way he, like, his plumage just sort of ruffles a bit. You, you can hear it. I bet. Incoming and outgoing. Forgiveness. That is my cure. You are not my pack, Remus. But I keep my oaths. I will see the hunt through. Our life will be taken one way or another. That has not changed. But that, and I nod toward the box, is no longer for me. He blinks a couple of times. 
<laughs> he tucks the box under one of his arms. Cradle it against his side. You never agreed to the hunt. I never gave you a target. That is not the oath I swore. He looks down at the box. I mean, he looks at you. <laughs> Spits at your feet. I don't want someone like you hunting for me anyways. Not anymore. He holds the box in between both of you. I'll take this as recompense. It's queer. To me and my goddess. You're not worth the time anymore. I lower my head. He shakes his head at you. He has so much promise to. He looks at the rest of you. Looks back at you, Audric. May we never meet again. If we do, it will not go well for you or your pack. I keep my mouth shut at that and just let it be. He leaves. <sighs> I turn and look to the others. Sick about not getting that hunt. Who the fuck was that? <laughs> Dominic, ass over your shoulder. Marshall. Interesting to read this. Of, uh, Syl Sylvia, was it? Yes? Correct. Gods of Hunt. And things. I respect all gods truly, but that is not a god I would be trifling with. Uh, Shadmir goes up to Aldrich, puts a hand on his shoulder, and says, I think you did the right thing. I believe you did. I uh, would be a first, wouldn't I? <laughs> first oh, and just fainted. The easiest. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you fainted a while ago. I'm gonna <laughs> go over a medicine check and make sure that he got a pulse, kind of. He's, he's got a pulse, he didn't have a heart attack. And Do I have any smelling salts in my, <laughs> in my medical I kit? Think does. In your healer's kit, or Nebby has some too. But you guys. Whacked in front of his face and... I think oh. I'm gonna have to re-up on that soon, because he's passing out a bit frequently. Oh. <laughs> Owen rubs the back of his head when I came in hard contact with the ground. Oh. Oh. I had... Miss Seema, you would not believe the thing. I just had this crazy dream that an angel saint just came down and... <laughs> attempted to squash my uncle, but... And he sits up and he sees the indent in the ground. Oh. And the, and the wounds on my body. <laughs> and the wounds on you, on your chest and face. Oh. Oh, wait, did you miss that entire conversation then? I heard something in my dream, but I guess it wasn't a dream. Yeah. We'll, we'll tell you more detail in a second. Okay. That was... Catch your breath. Yeah. Rest now. Rest now. <laughs> first things first. Uh, I take off the ring. And I walk over to Henri and I put it in her hand. <laughs> As you're coming up, nope, I don't, I don't care. I don't, nope, nope, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not getting involved in that. Nope, nope. <laughs> She's like stirring a pie for her breakfast. I'm not getting this involved is, in that. Nope. I don't see anything. This needs to go back. This needs to go back to whom it belongs to. She turns around. What? I swore thrice that I would put it in your hand the moment I'm done with it. I am done with it. 
I'm putting it in your hand. Oh. Thanks, I suppose. Your pockets it. <laughs> Who's is it? No. No, thanks. Thank you. And thank Evelyn from me. I didn't do fucking shit. I'll be sure to pass the regards along to Evelyn though. I know. No no. I need to make sure my name is not in all of this anywhere. <laughs> I'm not in this. She finishes stirring the pot then. <laughs> Alright. Are you guys gonna be fucking with any more outer powers or can we have breakfast? Mar oh. Marshall pulls out his weird void sword. I mean maybe. But that, I mean, I'm kind of Dominic, he, he looks at, Dominic looks at that. What the hell was that? I broke it off one of the void creatures. Yeah, I got, I got that. Seems functional. It seems functional. I've been mean, so I'm not sure if I want to use it for whatever function it might have. What even is it? He's like he leans in and examines it. Don't touch it. Yeah, Marshall, can I- I don't have a corporeal form! <laughs> Not gonna lie, straight up forgot Dominic was a ghost for a second. <laughs> He's a specter! I forgot. He's a literal specter! I would- I would like to check that out, Marshall, if you don't mind, to make sure you're not gonna, like, be permanently cursed by using it. Insight. Is Seema gonna break it? <laughs> <laughs> Roll me your insight! I like see the look in his eyes, Marshall. I am not going to break it. She's, she's. <laughs> she... <laughs> she's. Uh, I think. She, I think. She, I think she's on the level. I think. You're not 100 percent sure, but you think she's on the level. Now, Marshall, would I lie to you? I mean, said to me. I was fucking <laughs> waiting for the comment. That's Cheddar. <laughs> it's like a fucking... Mm. Alright, I hand it over to her. You hand it over. Uh... Roll me your arcana. Nima. It's just... Right. It's Shout ascertained. Guidance. Oh! Ooh, who needs it? Do I even need that guidance? I'm still gonna do it. Well, <laughs> yeah, it's a you got two plus ones, so it's like, yeah, he's plus 24. four. Listo crits! Listo crits. Listo crits. Scroll. 23 to 7. Number, the ratio keeps going up. Um, it looks relatively inert. Um,. You can tell with an at 20, you can tell that if it got, uh, how to say, it, a magical defibrillator charge into it, just, you know, it might not restore itself, but be re given a pulse, so to speak. So it's not dead, because dead implies it's gone permanently. It's more over just, um. Dormant. Dormant, yeah, that's a good way to put it. Um, so basically, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the amount of effort that it would take me to get Magnus not to use it, not Magnus, gosh, Marshall not to use it, would not be worth the amount of danger that's currently putting him in. As of right now, it shouldn't be any danger to him. After giving a few dozen kills, then maybe something might happen, but... Um... It really depends, basis to basis, it depends on what gets killed. If you kill a magical being, it might try to do something, self-revive itself. Dude. But as of right now, it's relatively fine. Now, Marshall, if this starts to do any magic-y stuff... <laughs> like a mom <laughs> disappointing a child. You need to get rid of it, because it's going to start doing stuff like maybe whispering in your ear and crap like that that I know you don't like. Ooh, that's good so you got to let us know. If it starts doing magic-y stuff, so we can stop it. Okay, that seems fair. <laughs> cool. <laughs> he he, he kind of looks to Dominic's like a. Can, can I have this? <laughs> Both of them shrugs. Things. He's like shrugs. Like, I have no. 
I don't fight void creatures. Uh, he looks it up and down. Hang on to it for now. Use it if you want. I'll be keeping tabs on it. Goes to swing. Shrinking it. Yeah, it's 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 the equivalent of like a rusted blade, a chiseled down blade, stuff like that. It's not how about this? If you were to remove the void essence that sort of gives it its sort of supernatural edge, it probably would just break and shatter and be shit. Luckily though, the void essence is still there, so it's it's fine. Want to take you a practice swing as a, shield? You could, you could consider it as a plus one. Magical plus one, not Mastercraft. A magical plus one. Uh, long sword. Schwab. Sword. 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 I would, um, while this is going on, I'd take out the owl that I made. And I would uh, give it to um, uh, Danoe, because she was the intended person. Yeah, she's like watching... Marshall get mom and dad's approval to use the evil weapon. <laughs> and she was watching that. And she just sort of has this sort of reminiscent look on her face. And then you come by and she shakes herself out of it. What is it? I... I didn't know I could do this, but... There is an eyebrow. I take out the little owl. Uh, it would look exa oh, very similar to her, uh, the the trinket that she has. She just uh, like pauses for a moment and just sort of looks at it, like in like confused and inquisitive, curious. How did uh, she like gently chase it, take it from you? Yeah, I'll give it there, and I'll say part of it is. This and I turn myself into stone, and I drop it again. And the other part of it is something I've never really listened to in my own emotions. She has a smirk at that, still looking down at the owl. She's sort of turning it over in her hands, examining the detail of it. Yeah, well, I suppose we're both uh, guilty of that. If you look. Very closely, you should be able to see and feel. She gets a confused look at that, but she brings it closer to her face and just sort of gazes intently into it. She gets a warm smile on her face. Oh. I see what you mean. Then she gives you, she looks over at you with a knowing smile. You're a man of many peculiar and otherworldly talents, Aldric. <laughs> well, a man's got to have something. <laughs> you make me look bad. What do I bring to the relationship then? That, and I point to the owl. <sighs> what more could I ask for? <laughs> she clutches it and holds it to her, her chest. Thank you. She had a response, by the way. She... She just moves to say who, but then she catches her. And her expression immediately <laughs> darkens and downs him. Oh. <laughs> What'd she say? Owen? <laughs> he, Owen's sitting next to Nebby. <laughs> Still coming. Nebby filling him in as to what happened. And he's just sort of writing down. Huh? Uh, bring Nevi as well. Uh, wait, I need sound effect, Hold on. There we go. Yep. There we go. He closes his book and the two of them get up and come over to you. What is it? Uh, did you hear... Or did, did you get to the message that I sent to your mother? Yeah, Nevi was just finishing up 
No, I'm not gonna lie, Uncle. You... He buys his up. I mean, no offense by this, but it's crazy. <sighs> well, it will not surprise you that <laughs> she had quite the response. <clears throat> Oh yeah, what'd you say? Are you ready for this? I don't think <clears throat> I'll ever be. Normally I wouldn't bother or try to bother anyone else with this, uh, Nevi, but you are family. She gets a I, little smile at that. I look and I look at you know, uh, I'm assuming she's holding on to Owen in some way. Yeah. Yeah, I would look at that pointedly first, and then I would say, word for word, Aldric, you parasitic bastard, give me back my son, my enforcer, my enforcer, the expansion funds, as well as what you stole from the twins' noble house. Oof. Oh, and bites his lip. They're like off to the side. Yeah, you guys can hear. You guys can hear this. I, you didn't say you're whispering. You guys, gonna, no, you guys can I, notice this. I, I, I'm not trying to lower my voice. It's fine if they hear. In my, in my mind. Danway is putting a, putting away the owl on the very close to heart, literal close to heart uh, pouch owner, and she doesn't even bother putting. In what will happen if you don't? I think we already know that. Especially yep. if you want what I destroyed. This sounds like mother. But like I said before, I am committed to this. All the way. If there is a way for you to live your life as free as you want, doing the things that you want, and achieving that without a confrontation between me and the Scoria, then I will adhere to that path. I intend to move on. She is not my life. But you are, Owen. And you, Dano, and you, and everything. She does well right at that. And even these fuckers. <laughs> Beautiful bastards. I say a little louder. Hmm. You all hear that, whether or not you want to. Everyone who's like pretending not to listen yeah. to see Macaw. Yeah, like, uh, everyone, you're all staring at Marshall, swing the sword around, but it's not really an engaging activity to stare at someone, so you're listening. We got you guys. A confrontation. Guys. Yeah, and I'll, I'll turn to include the whole group, and I'll say a confrontation may be inevitable but my intentions aren't lethal whatever scary plans whatever her endeavors her hatred will be have to be her own i will no longer partake in it and besides any amount of pain is worth Owen's future. Uncle, I... Shut up. You know what I mean. <laughs> he immediately looks down and quiets himself. Q Bronson meme. <laughs> Owen. I did up. nothing for... I've been a shit uncle for the ma vast majority of your life. That's let not true. That, let, let me do the right thing. I haven't been there when I should have been. 
Perhaps that is my own internalizing, my own guilt, but that is how I feel. You might feel differently, but from where I'm sitting, I am not blameless in your pain. I don't blame anyone, uncle. And that's why you're better. And that's why I think this, and I point to his book, I th that's why I think this is right for you. But what I think should matter. What do you think, Owen? What do you want? He gets like this sort of hopeless expression in his eyes. I just want you and my mother to get along. I, I know that's not going to happen. And what do you want for yourself? He, you see his grip tighten around the book. I don't know yet, but and he holds up the book in between both of you. That's sort of why I like doing this. Good. Wow. Don't let don't let go of that. And don't let go of her, and I nod toward Nelly. It's more I, uh, it's more over Nevi's holding him versus the other way around. Want to say? Yeah. For their physical contact, she has a hand on his shoulder. Nevi, can I can I count on you to look after him? She nods fervently. I appreciate that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I am a bit overwhelmed. I haven't felt this much feeling since ever. I'm going to go lie down. Awesome. Now we'll go into the cart and lie down. That way he goes with you. She didn't say anything. But you guys just lie down together. Henri remarks from outside. You better not do anything suspicious in there. You wanna know if they did. I have really good hearing. He is very sneaky. <laughs> and how would you know that? I would, I would hope if they were doing something suspicious in there, you would hear. Your adventures are fucking weird. And? Just a remark. It's what gives us our charm. You get used to it, your <laughs> remarks. Hey, Teddy, so. go get me a deer or something so I can kill it with this blade. <laughs> Just catch the blight deer. I mean, do you want to practice swinging it? I'm, or do I'm, you wait, 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 we shouldn't actively be I looking to feed it. I, I agree with the ghost oh, one. Okay. I just said if you were to use it and things die on it, then we'll see what happens. I didn't say to actually go to test it. Besides, I don't think a deer counts. I don't think void creatures care about animals, right? Eh. I think it would be like a smaller power source or something. I don't know what that means. Arcana sure. check. <laughs> Let me see. Actually, that's a good point. That's probably too much for Chenry. <laughs> Would this be Arcana or Religion? Arcana. <laughs> nope, I don't know. Yes! <laughs> maybe! Take that made of a, you know... A pound pinch of, salt. of salt. and a dash. No, a pinch of salt and a dash of pepper. You know? It's you not know. impossible. It's... who knows? We should talk to somebody that actually knows magic -y things. <laughs> who knows? i probably get another- you know what, we're almost at the town, we'll just ask another one over there. Anyways. This is the first day. <laughs> yeah. This is all it takes place on the first day. <laughs> Stay out another day, fucker! Close enough for me not to bother contacting her. Anyways. Uh, moving past the series of scenes. Uh, Tala will go up to you, 
Fatima. Mm. I want to further my studies. That sounds like a good use of our time. Where did we last leave off? Meditating and focusing. She blinks a couple of times. Some sort of energy? Into I my strikes. I remember now. We were focusing on the sands and how they, how you can channel them. She nods. I do not know anything past that. And I'm so very confused. Okay. Well, I'm scrolling down a bit to look at paladins because I'm a cleric. I don't know about this as much. <laughs> I mean, in technicality, there's no like paladin tr training training. You just sort of become a paladin eventually. I know. I just want something to improv off of. <laughs> okay, fair enough, fair enough. Regard you go, I don't know, you both go a little bit of ways and meditate for a bit. And you can just hear the Tala squirming in her armor, like uncomfortably, mm -hmm. as she's trying to f calm herself and meditate. <sighs> what happens if I cannot calm myself? Well... Calmness doesn't mean feeling nothing. It means feeling everything, but still only acting with her. And finding a way... I know, I mean, you're, you're a little, you got a lot of energy pent up in there. It's about finding a way to channel and focus all of that energy. So when you're feeling angry, you don't just explode with that anger. You hold that anger and concentrate it and shape it into something that you can use. How about... I would think that this is out of character. Sacred Flame is something that paladins have, right? I don't have a. I only have the two. Uh, they do not get cantrips. They don't get. Oh yeah, they don't get any cantrips. I can remember that now. So what I They're to half say. casters or mm. quarter casters or whatever term. It'd be I... half for them. Elder Schneider quarter. Oh, yeah, they Who get first cantrips? Level. So, so that's first kind level, of they get no. divine sense and play on Serious might. If you need to smack something, Shedimir would volunteer. <laughs> she has shield and armor and shit. Would you now? Yeah. She literally volunteered for you to, like, practice a sword against her shield. Don't forget to heal back to full, because long rest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Might be prevalent. That would be the next rest for me, because of Remus. I would like to pra so what I want to practice, um, to just explain my meta narrative real quick, is that I want right. to try to practice lay on hands, because I feel like that's something that we would kind of have a common thing for. So, yeah. how about I go up to Chetamir and just like stomp on her foot real quick. Ow! <laughs> it does one point of damage and breaks your pinky toe. <laughs> it does strength, da strength modifiers worth of damage, thank you very much. Plus one. Uh, uh, I, I, no, I'm I a strong see. girl. That's like She's a... Plus three? Plus two? Yeah, three. So minus three hit points. Yeah, take three just like chatting to Marshall about his sword and then suddenly... Gah! <laughs> now. Tala's what falling you, behind you. <laughs> what are you feeling right now, Tala? <laughs> she gets a smirk. Amusement? Okay. We can use that, probably. I um, can punt you like 30 feet. You can try. But you, I want you to focus. Focus everything you're feeling, your emotions about what we've gone through, your frustrations, but also your faith that you have that we're doing what we're supposed to be doing and that the sands are guiding us the way that they should. And focus all of that and try to picture that going into your hands. And when you start feeling that, I want you to take your hands and lay them on Chetamir's and see if you can help it. All right, I need to make a, I need to make a roll for Tala. Oh, give me a second here. <laughs> give her guidance. Ah, oh, shit. Alright, well, uh. 
<clears throat> so she does as you instructs, you think, and she goes over and lays a hand, her hands on Chetamir, I guess her leg, because height difference. Nothing happens. But you do see her hands are glowing. But, but nothing happens. Hmm. And she looks like immensely frustrated. Mm hmm. Don't. Don't be frustrated with yourself. Internal strife is not helpful for this. Keep. Remember last time what really helped was picturing the sand and picturing how when the wind blows about it, it creates patterns that seem random and they're just small little ripples, but those ripples build up into large dunes. And those she dunes are pulls. fragile. But you need to... You've got... You have the ripples forming. We'll keep focusing and let's see if we can build a dune. A mountain of power. <sighs> she it's like, she has a really like scrunched up look on her face. <sighs> she tries to do lay on hands again. <laughs> she still fails. <laughs> Her hands are gl glowing even brighter right now. <laughs> you think something's holding you back? Because it's there, but you're not giving it the push. She looks at the three of you present. I know what I must do. Hmm. Uh, Marshall, what's your AC? <laughs> Just uh, wondering. You know, he doesn't have anything on, no shield. Conduct uh, 10. 16. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Tala. And she doesn't have multi attack, because she's. She's a baby. I like to think that just hits and just doesn't. Do I mean, if, I mean if, you get, if you don't move, you know it's. They just let advantage. I would say that's a surprise attack. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Tala. Not have a great day. She's not having a good day. Um, I mean, I imagine punching Marshall's leg is probably like punching a tree trunk, honestly. Well, if I, here's the thing. I see what be. she's. I see what she's trying to do. And I try to, without her noticing, cast Sacred Flame to appear where she's casting it. Oh, oh what about a War God's Blessing? Yeah, let's say you can't hey. just use a War God Blessing. Oh, yes, yes, yes. There you go. There you go. Is that plus five or plus ten? That yeah. is plus ten, yes. So, okay, then she still hits. <laughs> These are also shit. Okay, so that's Strength Modifier of Damage. That's two, and then plus, um, um, Probably, but uh, no, not that one. No, this one. No way, no way. There's an actual, just normal one. Never mind. I'm dumb. No, not that one. This one. This one! So that's two plus. Ah, she rolled pretty well. Take 13 points of damage. <laughs> Marshall. <laughs> As Tala comes up and punches you square in the chest. Which is impressive, considering her height. And his height. <laughs> she does a little bit of a hop. <laughs> her expression oh. changes from utterly angry to sad. As after the hit connects and the force of arcane, or divine rather, energy hits you. That was for leaving me behind. This is probably the the most sad 
Well, may, not for you, Marshall, but for the rest of you, this is probably the most sad you've ever actually seen Tala. Like, she actually does look like she's gonna cry. Which is saying something, considering how she usually would never look like that. Hmm. How visible is that? It's very visible. Her eyes are watering, but they're not shitting it. Yeah. Got them like, angry wow. tears. Yeah, Marshall just takes it on the chest and reaches down and grabs her by her head and picks her up. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna fight back, so I guess, um... Uh, grapple? Grapel? Magikarp, you struggle. <laughs> oh, wow, now she rolls well. Not that it matters. Oh, wait, what? Oh, she beat me. Barely. She beat you by one. Yeah, she, you she reach down to grab her, her and, and she, like, swats her hands away with both her arms, like, just doing this whoosh.